Can 22 APC governor stop the cabal? Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. As we count down to the presidential election scheduled for February 25th, it will no longer serve any purpose for anyone to doubt whether President Muhammad Buhari is standing with the All Progressive Congress APC Standard Bureau as Siwaji Bola Ahmed Tinambun. The matter was settled in Lafia, Nasrawa State Capital, last Saturday when President Buhari declared emphatically that Asiwaji Tsunambu is a tested and trusted political ally of over 20 years. This overwhelming endorsement could not have come at a better time amid political undercurrent that tended to suggest the All Progressive Congress was a divided party or that there was a cold war between Tsunambu Buhari and Asiwaji Tsunambu. Tunibu will be a good success, so Buhari added, so that his message can sink in during the campaign rally to mobilize the teaming supporters of his party. Whereas we desire a free, fair, and credible election, people tend to forget that the president party is the all-progressive Congress and charity must begin at home. The last year's outing was significant for several reasons. Not too long ago, Asiwaji Tunibu alleged that their fifth columnist in Abuja working against the interests of the all-progressive Congress so that the party will lose the presidential election and possibly other election in a bandwagon effect. Being the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Asiwaji remained defiant and fired on all cylinders. As he went on to say at different campaigns rally that the fifth columnists want to scuttle the general election and install an interim government. In his view, the shortage of petrol and unavailability of the new narrow notes which have caused untold hardship for Nigerians formed part of a deliberate plot by the Abuja cabal to cause anarchy and destabilize the country. The plot, as Sewaji Tinibu noted, will fail woefully. He also said confidently that the presidential election will hold as scheduled as he would be declared the winner. There were other thought-provoking comments by Siwaji Tunimbu which were most interpreted as direct attacks on the Buhari administration. But if the same Buhari is saying that Siwaji Tunimbu will be the next president after him, you can just grab yourself, you can just grab your popcorn, relax and calm your nerves. Why did I say you should relax? In simple language, the all-progressive Congress leaders are saying they are united and their goal is to win the general election. No more discordant voices will be allowed from any quarter. Do not forget that the party has the power of incumbency and it could become a crucial factor. President Buhari continued his campaign for Asiwaju Tunibu in Castina, that is the home state of the president. Shortly after Asiwaju spoke about the recommendations of fifth Gomelins in the corridors of power, Nasser Rafai, the governor of Kaduna State, re echoed similar concerns on Channel Television, Arise News, TVC, and BBC. Nasser Rafai may not be the spokesperson of the All Progressive Congress or the Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, but he displays excellent PR and engagement skills during this middle tour. He spoke with so much candor, passion, confidence, and clarity of purpose during the interviews. He explained that some elements in our work are determined to frustrate the electoral process and truncate our democracy simply because their preferred candidate did not win the All Progressive Congress presidential primary in June last year. The idea of an interim government is a dangerous proposition which would be unhelpful to anyone. Do they want another June 12 crisis on our hands? The Cardinal State's governor said the aim of the cabal who flowed their weight around in the Asso Villa is to disrupt the general election by making the country ungovernable. RFI said members of the cabal who are not honest like him will not succeed with their plan. He described them as parasites, cowards and opportunists who are members of the All Progressive Congress but wield a lot of power and influence in Aso Villa because of their close association with President Muhammad Buhari. Hmm. This is a lot to a lot of breeze they blow for here. Unfortunately, I don't know if we continue. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.